Car Lowry Glass Company (1889–2003) was a manufacturer of glass bottles. Topic establishment: Car Lowry Glass Company, founded in Baltimore, Maryland, in 1889. Located on the middle branch of the Patapsco River in a neighborhood named Westport, Samuel Carr and William Lowry established their company to create glass bottles for the pharmaceutical and perfume industries. As seen from the locally famous Hanover Street Bridge, just west of Fort McHenry, you could see the towering smokestacks and piles of discarded blue glass the factory. Their company grew over the years as they were one of the first companies to utilize an is machine, a machine that had individual sections that were timed to automatically blow and move the bottles to a conveyor system. In 1944, they were acquired by the Anchor Hocking Glass Company. During this time, the company experienced major expansion. Carl Lowry was one of the producers of the famous Avon bottles that were shaped like cars, planes, animals, and also white glass shampoo bottles for head and shoulders, as well as facial cream bottles for Procter & Gamble. <laughs> Plastic bottles As the global economy moved toward plastic bottles after World War II, the companies began to see fewer orders. To make matters worse, the company's glorified six tank was shut down during a strike and was never restarted. Ownership of the company changed hands several times as the company struggled to find its niche. Moreover, Carl Lowry had formidable competition in New Jersey with Wheaton Glass and from foreign companies such as St. Gobain in France and Rocco Bormioli in Italy. St. Gobain eventually opened a plant in Georgia, which spelled doom for Carl Lowry. The Abel Foundation, a local Baltimore philanthropy, loaned Carl Lowry money in an effort to keep an historic business in Baltimore alive. Unfortunately, Carl Lowry was never able to remain profitable and eventually closed its doors in 2003. Topic: Rebirth. The image of Baltimore as a rusting industrial city seems to be fading. The city's downtown is now vibrant with activity from financial companies and biotechnology from nearby Johns Hopkins University and the University of Maryland at Baltimore. With this rebirth of the city, the waterfront property in and around town has become desired property for developers. The land once occupied by Carl Lowry Glass Company is now slated for waterfront housing. With Baltimore's light rail running right next to the property, a nearby exit to I-95, and a main road straight into downtown, the former Carl Lowry Glass Company site is considered by many an ideal place for residential and commercial development. In 2004, Patrick Turner, owner of Turner Development Company, purchased the property once occupied by Carl Lowry. He soon purchased the electric generating plant next door that was owned by Baltimore Gas and Electric. 